G'day Ziggy D here with another guide for Path of Exile's Ascendancy Expansion. In this guide I'll be showing you how to gain access to the Labyrinth, the dungeon you need to complete to access the new Ascendancy classes and powerful item enchantments. In order to prove your worth to Azaro, the creator of the Labyrinth, you must first find and complete six Trials of Ascension. Each of these six trials introduces you to one of the types of traps Azaro will throw at you in the Labyrinth, and you'll have to work through a gauntlet of them in order to earn your rites of passage. So let's get into where to find these trials and how to deal with the traps within. The first trial is located within the lower prison in Act 1. To help you find the trial, the traps within make a very distinctive clunking sound as they continually activate. You'll also sometimes be able to catch a glimpse of Azaro's logo on the map, and you may catch sight of the green glow of the entrance. The first trial is the Trial of Piercing Truth, a series of spike traps. Some of these activate on a timer and some are pressure sensitive. You can recognise the pressure sensitive ones by a metal plate in the centre of the spike grid. Get the timing and step onto the spike grids right after they deactivate and move onto the next grid right before you are skewered. Get hit by these traps and you'll be pinned in place and punctured so it's not a bad idea to bring a staunching flask. With any of these traps a movement skill like leap slam or lightning warp can help a lot if used to creatively skip traps. However, the spike traps while activated will block your ability to move past them so good timing is still required. Your next challenge is the Trial of Crippling Grief. This trial is located in Act 2's Chamber of Sins, Level 2, usually on the left hand side of the map. This trial features saw blades that run along a track in the ground. This is one of the easier and more predictable trap types and they can be easily skipped with movement skills. However, they can deal a lot of damage very quickly if you screw up and run along with one, so instant healing flasks are a good idea. The third trial is also located in Act 2 in the Crypts Level 1, and this is Trial of Swirling Fear. This one features giant blenders that move along tracks. They can have their route diverted or changed by flipping various switches, but it's generally just easier and faster to time them and run through openings, or to burst through the edges of them with a quicksilver to boost your move speed. Getting nicked by the edges of them doesn't hurt all that much. The fourth trial is located in Act 3's Crematorium, and it's called the Trial of Burning Rage. Don't get too excited boys, but this trial is full of smoking hot lava grills. If you've put enough points into your charm stat and your fire resist is up to par, then you can usually run on these grills without any real problems. Just counter the damage with a healing flask. You could also use movement skills to jump over them wherever possible. Typically you'll have to activate a series of switches, sometimes on a timer, to gain access to the end room. The fifth trial is located in the Act 3's Catacombs, and it's the Trial of Deadly Roombas. Uh, well, technically it's called the Trial of Lingering Pain, but it's more like the Trial of Intense Fear and Panic. These are one of the most dangerous and frightening traps as they can sometimes jump out and cut you up in addition to moving quickly along patrol routes. These Roombas of Pain deal a small amount of damage at their edges and increasingly more damage the closer you get to the center. So sprint along the edges of them with a Quicksilver Flask and watch out for holes in the wall that they can pop out of. And the sixth and final trial is located in the Hedge Maze in Act 3. You know that, you know that place that no one ever goes to? Take the waypoint to Imperial Gardens and go north to by northeast until you find the entrance. This trial features poison darts. The poison is quite potent and will debuff you with a powerful slowing effect. You can dispel the poison with a removes poison flask if you have one. Most of the darts are on a timer and you can simply step to each new safe point, but some will also be triggered by pressure plates, and they can be quite nasty. These darts aren't too bad by themselves, but learn how to avoid them now as their slow can get you killed by other traps when they combine in the labyrinth. Imagine one of those flying death roombas coming at you while you're poisoned and slowed. All six trials complete, you can head to Act 3's town and open the statue up the top of the stairs to enter the labyrinth. If you want to learn more about that one, keep an eye out for my upcoming guide. That's it for now, I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.